Okay, so another one of my Fallout 4 settlements that I have finished is the Taffington Boathouse. There's little security areas outside along the road. Another one over here. I like these oil lights for outside because I feel like it's they they're like for eh, blah, 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 that's English. I feel <laughs> In case of a power outage. That is why. There's little barbecues out here. Outside lights. Scrapping areas. Oh yes, I made this into a scrapping area too. This. Yes. Uh, We've got to do something to stop these raider attacks. What? I just want to trade a few things. Okay. Okay, so you're just glitching out. So this is the actual boathouse, I suppose, because all this is just water. But I... You work, you eat. It's as simple as that. Gosh, you guys are loud. But I, like, finagled some floor in there, glitched some, put some in, stacked some floor on top of each other. The floor is, like, chaotically weird, but at least I can use the space for something. This is like a fishing area. Why is there blood on the chair? I don't want to know. Oh, fishing area. The recruitment beacon when I wanted people here. That's the outside. Can we come inside here? A little area, sitting area. I like to put dog houses, uh, at least two, because I usually like to have two dogs in a place, but if I don't get around to it, I'm like, the dog has options where it wants to sleep. This is the bathroom. Hypothetically, I should be able to catch dogs in traps, and I know I've done it before, but the last couple times I've tried, I've just caught, like, crazy skull like alpha wild hounds that attack everything and it's bad. Yes. Kitchen table. I started using these like I mentioned in the other video. I need another one of these, right? So it's like symmetrical. It'll be beautiful. But other than that. Okay, so that was downstairs. And then upstairs. Now, there might be a random body glitched under the bed. There's Sometimes there's dead bodies around the settlement. Sometimes you can carry them away. I mean, dead bodies from, like, plot or whatever. They don't just appear randomly. <laughs> um, but yeah. And I carry this body away, but it often glitches back under the bed. So it, that might be a thing. Bedroom. Close the door. Sitting area. Yeah, I couldn't get the door to go the other way. I wanted it to open the opposite way, but it didn't. These rooms have ensuite bathrooms. So you don't have to wander all the way downstairs. And because, you know, more than one toilet in a household of 11 people. Plant there. This one too. What I like to do is, like, find spaces that are like you get what you gotta shush Hancock I like to put things in spaces where they fit nicely like how the table is against the wall here it goes to where the door is have everything like aligned in nice angles and such and there's the body that's okay whatever it's not sticking out too awkwardly to be honest uh, so, bedrooms. I'm just gonna say somebody here is a cannibal and that's their snack. My sole survivor here is a cannibal. So yes. Oh, and the reason for the sleeping bags by the dog houses is because, like, I feel like some people would be kind of scared from, like, the trauma of existing in a post-apocalyptic world. So if you're feeling a little spooked, you can just come and sleep by a doggy. Because who doesn't want to come sleep by a doggy? For real. Anyway, yeah, that is my boathouse settlement. Woohoo!